So here, uh, first thing is you need to open uh, Google. That's a basic thing. And then you have to type this one, aws.amazon.com. So this is the first thing which you have to type. So as soon as you type that, you just click and enter, and then it will direct you to a the Amazon Web Services account. That is aws.amazon.com. Uh, and here you can see an option called create free account. Let us click that and see what actually comes. So you will be directed to an AWS Amazon console where you are going to create a free account. So here you can see there is an option called create a free account. Now let's say you already have an account. Then what you have to do is you just have to go here on the top right side. You can see sign in to the console. If you click sign in to the console, it will ask you for the credentials. That is email ID and password with the email ID and password which you have generated. You can log in to the AWS console. Now let us see here the first option which is how to create an AWS account. So technically, this is a free account. That is what I mean to say. So let's click here, that is create a free account, and then it will direct you to this particular console, right? Where here, it will ask you to provide the, the root user email address, and then the AWS account name. Okay, account name can be of anything. It can be uh, with your name or it can be with any other names. That doesn't matter. But email ID is the most important factor. Now, let's say I'm going to create an uh, AWS account with this particular email ID. Let's say I'm going to create with this one. And I'm going to give the name as my name. Uh, let's say Castro underscore civil Let's say this is my account name. So whenever you open your account, this is the name which is visible. Okay, and make sure the email ID is properly provided or not. And then click verify email address. Once you click ver verify email address, your email will receive a password, I mean uh, a code uh, where you have to enter. Let's see that. So I'm clicking verify email address and there is a verification code which is sent to the email which you have registered. Okay, so let me go to this one and then let me check whether the code has obtained or not. Now, yeah, you can see AWS email verification. Now you can see the code is there. That is this one. So you can copy that code and paste it here and then click verify. Okay, if you haven't received any code, just send, just click on resend code, you will get that. Now here you have to create a password. Okay, I'll talk about what is this root user. We have two types of users. One is IAM user and the second one is root user. I'll talk about that in the next class or the coming classes. But let us let us create a password. But in order to create a password, remember that you need to have an uppercase letters and also a lowercase letters, which are a combination with numbers and non-alphanumeric characters. So non-alphanumeric characters are something like exclamatory mark, hashtag, or the at, at the read condition or asterisk and or ampersand, anything with that non-alphanumeric characters. Let's say I'm going to create, uh, I mean, create a password satisfying all the requirements. So once you satisfy all the requirements, you can see all the four options are turned into a green color mark. That means you have satisfied all these conditions while you are creating a password. Now you have to confirm the root user password once again. So enter the same password once again here and then click continue. So you can see there are five steps that are available. So this is just the first step. So let us say click here and then it will direct you to the second step. So here you can see. So the free types, okay, you can see free tier offers. What is actually free tier offers is all AWS account can explore three different types of free offers depending on the product used. This is the most important, depending upon the product used. So based on the product you are going to use, they will be available for free. Okay, if you are going beyond the free time, then you have to pay. And remember that this is always free and remember that it is it never expires. And once on the date of creation of AWS account, OK, so it will be available for one year of duration. So you will get 12 months of free access. 
after 12 months again you can create a new account with new email id okay so it the the start date will start from the initial sign up date whenever the first sign up you are doing that from that day onwards 12 months the count gets started and there are certain amount of free trials to start from service activation day right that we'll see in the later case now here you can see uh, the contact information here in the contact information you have two options how do you plan to use aws in what way you are going to use aws is it for a business account or is it for a personal category let's say we are all using the aws account for a personal pro personal work only so let us click personal here and then let us type the full name so let me type my name itself doesn't matter which name you are typing and then you have to enter your pass i mean the mobile number let's select here india that comes with 91 and then i am going to type my mobile number and here in the place of country or region you can select india okay you can see here you, you don't need to select british indian ocean territory you just select india and then you give some some address. Let's say I'm going to give it as LB Nagar. And then here I'm going to give the city as Hyderabad. And the state comes as Telangana. And the postal code is 500074, something like that. Okay. So here, once after filling up all the details, make sure you're going to check this one. So I have read and agreed the terms and conditions of the AWS customer agreement. If you want to read all the uh, the terms and conditions, you can just click on that and you can read if you have time. So just click here I and mean, check this option and then click continue. So that moves you to the second step. Okay. The entered address is. Yeah, I guess I have entered some. Yeah, five triple zero. Okay. So we can continue here so that yeah. So now this is the third step. So here what happens is you need to enter the credit card or debit card details. Okay. So make sure that you need to have uh, the credit card or debit card. But as I said earlier, you are going to have the deduction of two rupees. So here what you have to do is you have to enter the credit card or debit card details okay the, the credit card number you can you can type your own credit card number and here the expiration date also you can type expiration date and year and then the card holder name and its cvv right so once after you are going to type all these parameters what you can do is you can click here, that billing address so you can use the address which you have provided in the second step or if you want to have a new address you can click here and then you go you are going to type the new address here okay let us select this only use my contact address and then do you have a pan that is pan card so let us say you don't have a pan card number doesn't matter whether you provide yes or no that doesn't make a big deal but let us say only click i mean no let us check no and then click on verify and continue OK, click on verify and continue. Then it will move to the fourth step. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click verify and continue. So that moves to the next step. So I'm just clicking on verify and continue so that it takes you to the next step, which is step four. So let us wait till it makes to the next step. Yeah, so here you see uh, you will get a password. OK, to the registered mobile number so that you can enter the password or the OTP. So I have just entered the OTP here. And then I'm going to click submit. So let us click that and then two rupees will get deducted. That will what the message comes. Confirming payment with your bank and then we'll direct you to the next step. Let us wait till it happens. Yeah. So here you can see. Right, so you are almost ready with your AWS account. You are just one step away to create AWS account. So how should we send you the verification code? So is it by text message or the voice call? You can click the text message option. And here you can select the country, which is India. And then here you can give your personal number. Um, maybe you can give the mobile number which is attached to your bank account or your personal number is also fine. It just sends one OTP, that's it. So here you can enter this security check option, which is 
So just click send SMS so that you will receive the SMS here. SMS there with OTP where you have to enter the OTP. Yeah. So here you can see that there will be one code which will be sent to, to your mobile number or the number which you have given there. So just click the verification code and click continue. Yeah, so this is the last step where you're going to select the plan which you are going to use. So technically you have three plans as I said earlier. So you have the basic support which is available for free. You don't have to pay any amount. And the second option is developer support where you have to pay $29 per month. And then you have the third option which is business support where you're going to pay $100 per month. Okay, so since we are not bothered about the developer support or the business support, we are going to check the basic support, which is for free of cost. And here you can read the a couple of instructions also. Okay, so, so let me check this one basic support free and then complete sign up. Click on complete sign up. So that's how the final message appears. So, congratulations, thank you for signing up for AWS. So, if they say that it will take a couple of minutes to activate the account, but you will receive an email once this when this is completed. OK, so you can just click on go to the AWS management console so that you can check whether the account is properly there or not. Right. So now you have created the account. So now what is the next step? You need to log into the account. The next step is you need to log into your account. Now let us say that we don't have this one. Let us go to Google and then let us log in from the beginning. So here also I'm going to the same process, which is aws.amazon.com. And then I'm going to choose the create free tier account, or you can also say it will come there. You can see the login option. So let us click that. And then here you can see the sign in to console. So on the top right side, you can see sign in to the console. Just click on that. Okay. And then you have to provide your email address, right? Here, uh, I said we have, you have two different types of users. One is the root user, and the second one is IAM user. So IAM user is completely different from root user. IAM user will not have all the permissions as the root user is having. Okay, so I'll talk about IAM user when we are talking about IAM topic. But let us, whenever you are going to sign in, check always check the root user only. Okay, don't go for IAM user. Let us check root user and then you have to enter the email address which you have logged in. Okay, here I am going to enter this particular email address for, from which I have logged in. I mean, I have created an account and then you need to enter the password. Okay. So just click sign in. So it will take you to the AWS management console. So this is the console which is available for you. So this portion of the AWS account which you are seeing is called as console. So that is what you can see here, console home. Our graphic user interface, we'll call it in general terms, but in AWS technology, we call it as console. Now let us talk about what is available in this console first, and then let us move to the next categories, okay? 